new parts to Kerbal Space Program. So, really, this this is a huge mod in, in rights. This is a uh, adds a very massive amounts of parts. So let's just go through the uh, parts in general. So as you can see, I'm in the uh, space plane hangar instead of being in the uh, VAB vehicle assembly building because this this mod actually adds more plane kind of parts than it would rocket kind of parts. So I mean, the majority of parts that were added are actually for planes and stuff. So let's go ahead and look at everything. So first, we got a few cockpits that were added. Uh, don't mind these here, right here. This is just the McJib stuff. I also have a few other mods installed, but uh, I'll let you know when they are there. So here we have the D25 heavy cone. We have okay. So this is a drone core. Uh, this is some like weird kind of uh, seat. Yes. Believe it or not, this is an actual cockpit. It looks like it's something out of, uh, definitely looks like it's something out of some sort of game like Halo or something. But, uh, it holds two people, you know, it's a cockpit. And, oh, no, 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 yes, it does, yes. Two people. Uh, we have one of these, which is another cockpit. It looks like meant for a space plane. The majority of these all look like they were meant for space planes. As you can see there, this one here. Just go through them all. Um, this one looks like it's meant for aerodynamics if they ever add that into the actual game. Uh, anything on the next page? No. Alright, so we're going to look at the potion side now. These are all different mods. Um, these are different mods also. And right here is where they start. So we have... Let me just put that there. So, for propulsion... Starting right here, we have the turbofan engine. We have another turbo uh, van fan engine or whatever. Let's see how it looks. They, they look like they're yeah they're definitely they're definitely meant for planes. They look like they have intakes and everything on them. Another another turbofan engine right here. Um, these are all turbofan engines. But as you could tell, these are all. This is a lot of parts this thing adds. Uh, that is actually a massive engine. I think that could actually be used for actual like, space flight stuff. Um, here's another engine. Holy shit, this is big. That is one big ass engine. Uh, I think right now we're getting into the rocket engines. Um, another jet engine. Another engine. And... I believe that is it for the propulsion. Now, this stuff does add a lot of, uh, like most mods, it does add a lot of control stuff. Uh, don't mind these right here, because these are not a part of it, but everything below it is. So we have a surface mounted air, what? An air brake. Oh, this adds like a lot of stuff. You could just like read that if you, there's not much point going over. It's mostly like ASA, SAS, RCS ports and stuff. Um, automated surface avoidance system. What is that? Uh, well, I'll probably just and oh, it is SAS. My bad. Um, compressed air nozzle, RCS tank, RCS tank, and that is it for control. Structurally, uh, it adds a good few parts. Actually, it made this into a good long few pages. So I'm not gonna drag every single one out. I'm just going to show you the pages of all this stuff. Keep in mind. This stuff right here is not part of the mod. It's everything below this. So we have all this stuff. Adapters. We have more adapters. Tanks. Whoa. Yeah, th these are tanks. Um, fuselage. Um, wings. Stuff like that. Not the flying kind of wings. Tails. More body tanks and stuff. All like that. Um, what is this? A pre-cooler. Hmm. Maybe that has something to do with cooling the engines. The inline protractive railing, stuff I don't even know. Uh, structural pan panels. What's this? Multi-purpose stack booster. All right. So and that that's pretty much all the structural. That that's definitely probably about 80 parts there. Um, once again, these two are not a part of the mod, but everything below it is. So these are all air intakes, engines, wings, control surfaces, all that good stuff. And I, oh wow, this is actually a few pages worth it, once again. Um, more intakes, you know, stuff, 
like I said, this is mainly a uh, plain kind of mod. Utility, it adds a good few things to. It adds uh, lights. Oh, actually, different color lights. Um, spotlight, light array, and landing leg, and a shielded docking port. And I believe, yes, that is it for that. And then sides, it also adds one thing. It adds an info drive. Something really small, which is actually the first mod I found that actually adds something for science. Uh, displays editable pop up window on craft launch, press I to show, hide it, alternative, blah, blah, blah. Window will be on my close up sure around time. This stuff is really good because it gives you uh, some useful information about your plane if you're not very good for it. Uh, you know, give it, it gives descriptions and setups optimal, set profiles, or just background stories of your creations for all the users. See. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's like a uh, like a note you can add on. Looking at right here is actually the uh, the coolest possible creation you can make. Well, one of the coolest things you could make with this has all the uh, possible like things with speed. It looks cool. It looks really nice. It's very slick looking, and it also has a small cargo bay right here where you could possibly put a small satellite or something in there, and it's just so cool. I honestly think this is the coolest plane out of the stock planes that were put into the game. So let's go ahead and let's give this, actually, you know what, I'm going to put a small satellite source into this thing. So right there, I'm going to make it bigger in size, That's what she said. I don't know if I'm going to make it space, but Hey, at least I'll still be able to get this thing out or some sort of way. I don't know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and let's launch this into sky, I guess, into the sky. All right, so we're loaded in here. So as you can see, like I mentioned earlier in the video about that new scientific part, well, this is what it does right here. Um, hold on, I'm going to edit this, keep it going. To use the show hotkey all right so what this is is it just it's a pretty much an overall view and telling you instructions because this isn't your average thing uh toggle the saber engine mode and intakes so one would turn the engines on or space bars one would usually use um i'm not entirely sure if this has a backwards on i know some other planes i flew did um navigation lights would be six Let's just see if they turn on. Hmm. Okay. I believe it is the screen. Light. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. That's what it is right here. All right. So, um, toggle cargo bay doors would be seven. So, as you can see, that's closing. Toggle cargo bay light. Let's just open that up again. Let's just see into there. Okay, so there's lights in there. So we're gonna close that up. And cockpit light would be nine. All right. And to attract the ladder, you press zero. Press I to toggle this window. All right, awesome. So that is the overall view and the instructions. So we don't really need that no more. So why don't we just get back on course and let's um, let's go ahead and fly this thing Oh, 
Too late. We're out of fuel. So this thing uh, uses the RCS quite well, actually. This is really awesome. It's perfect. And let's open up the cargo bay. So the cargo bay was not one. My bad. Uh, cargo bay seven. And the cargo bay light was eight. So let's go ahead, turn the light on. Let's decouple. And let's. It's hitting the back there. So let's just edge this thing out. So, it's coming out there now. Ladies and gentlemen, this mod is amazing. This is the perfect tool for getting into space. Uh, I just need to figure out how to get it into orbit a little bit better. Um, definitely not the best at that right at the moment. But let's go ahead and close those doors and turn off that light. But as you can see, we successfully delivered a satellite with this thing, no problem. Uh, my total thoughts on this mod is that this is amazing. I, I'm in love with this mod right now. This is really kick-ass. I, it's so cool. This had so many parts. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to uh, create a plane like this myself because this looks very complicated but this is definitely the coolest stock mod thing ever that I've ever seen so let's just take her back home let's get her back down and watch the special aerodynamic effects why don't we well the satellite does his own thing all right let's go All right, let's bring this back home. The satellite is falling pretty pretty fast, and so are we. Uh, we're going into a straight-on nosedive right now. That cannot be good. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to bring this back. Uh-oh. I have the... Uh, the burn up effect turned off actually at the moment. My bad. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on. I need to give it. Get. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, we're not gonna make it. Oh shit, that's why. Let's get this thing. Good. Let's go, 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 go. I wasn't talking. I feel like an idiot. And there's the satellite just hit the ground. And ladies and gentlemen, we have made it back. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and click that like button. And guys, if you'd like to see some more Kerbal Space Program videos, whether it be a mod or whatever, like I'll even do a Fly Me to the Moon series, hint, hint, maybe coming. But guys, if you did enjoy this, all seriousness, give it a like, subscribe for more, and uh, comments are always appreciated. Love comments. So guys, have a good day, and we'll see you next time. Escape. They say it's your own child